Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. I'm in a beautiful square in downtown Guanajuato, Mexico. There's a coffee bar. We're gonna light the bar from the outside and backlight it, and then we're gonna light our subject with a softbox inside the bar. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. The reason I go to Adorama, it's a real store with real people, and I've got friends and associates there who have guided me through all my camera purchases for years. Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and we're in a beautiful square in downtown Guanajuato, Mexico, and we're gonna do a two-light setup, and we're gonna backlight a coffee bar behind me with a light that's out in the street, and then we're going to light our subject in the inside of the bar with a softbox. Okay, outside the coffee bar, we have an Ellen Crom Ranger with one head. We have a half-cut CTO, a little bit of a warming gel, and we're gonna fly the light through the doors of the bar back there because it's getting late afternoon, the sun is disappearing, the light is kind of soupy, and I wanna spark a little bit of kind of highlights and stuff like that. And one thing I found through lighting on location for years now is that if you put your light far away from your subject, okay, which is kind of contrary to what oftentimes we talk about, which, you know, oftentimes we're saying, push the light in close, get the light source big, make it wrapping and diffuse. In this instance, I'm pushing it away because I want it to kind of behave like the sun. I want it to be a hard spectral source from a great distance from my subject. Hence, we're running it at nearly maximum power. It's an 1100 watt second unit. We're probably about eight or 900 watt seconds right now. So now we're inside the coffee bar and you see behind me, the interior light or my subject light. That light out on the street is just for kind of splash and kind of backlight. It's gonna highlight the bar, but it doesn't really light my subject. The subject light is a 39 inch direct deep octa softbox. It's a Ellen Crom light shaper. It's got a really deep construction. It gives you a really nice smooth light. So this is gonna be my light for my subject. Now, contrasting to the light on the street, which is running at nearly full power, this light is in B port. In the Ellen Crom system, if you put your light into B port, you get 30% of the power of the entire pack, okay, or whatever power level is dialed in, you get 30% of it. So we have it in B port, and it's pretty minimal power because obviously that light is traveling a great distance. This light will be right next to my subject. I'm in the interior of the bar, which is pretty dark. Obviously, we've got a light on our subject. It's giving her a nice soft light. Uh, the outside light is being taken care of with, uh, you know, some backlight and, you know, that we've created with the light out on the street. We have to close pretty soon because the, the hard backlight looks like sunlight, but what I'm seeing outside does not look like sunlight. You know, it's kind of looks like a little soupy and it's getting dim and dusky. So we're almost out of quarters here in terms of playing this game, but it's been a fun thing to, uh, to work on. She's lit really beautifully and I'm getting some of the repetitive uh, bar stools shapes, you know, with backlight and it's a two light shot driven again with a pocket wizard radio reaching out into the street and right here in the bar. very typical of location photography that you see a location earlier in the day and obviously it's different when you come back to it. But we're doing our best here. We've got the bar, the bar backlit, pattern looks beautiful, the light inside is working really well, and the backlight's working really well. So I've got some things here that are worthwhile and we're going to continue to, you know, persevere. Gorgeous. That's nice. Pretty. So we're wrapping up, and in summation, two light picture, one big light out in the street, one big light inside the bar. The light inside the bar is running really low power through a beautiful softbox. The light out on the street is just blasting like raw sunlight, and that produces kind of a backlit quality, and then the foreground is lit in simple fashion, just with a smooth, wonderful softbox. We had a wonderful model and uh, I'm shooting from the interior towards the exterior of the bar and just trying to play with light and ratios. So Joe McNally for Adorama TV from Guanajuato, Mexico. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m 
and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.